Hey guys, welcome back for more Paranormal Side The Seven Mysteries of Honjo. So we're gonna continue Hadoe's story today. Yeah, this one. Dead or alive. So let's start it. Yes, Haraway and Richter visit Michio's home. I like the music. Allow me to introduce one of our country's most elite detectives. The name's Jun Ario. I'd hardly call myself elite, but either way, it's nice to meet you. This here is the brilliant chief inspector, Chutumi. Chutumi. <laughs> I always say Chutumi, Chutumi. I, I'm sorry for that one. Yeah, let's say Chutumi from now on. Chutumi. And yes, he's just as rough and tumble as he looks. Sometimes I really don't know if you're complimenting or putting me down. So, you two are detectives? This is my client, Mrs. Haruhi Shigima. Her father's a big deal in the police himself, so remember to mind your manners. A big wig named Shigima? Boss, you know of this guy? I heard the name, but you know, I don't keep track of who's who in the upper echelons. There's no need to worry, I am my own person, and after all, and my father has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, did you hear that, boss? Looks like you're getting off easy this time. Don't make it sound like I'm involved in some shady business, it ain't like that. You both seem rather jovial, despite being detectives, how rare. All the police officers I've met have always been so dull. Well, you won't find any dull cops here. We'll round up all your criminals with a smile. That's our motto. How lovely. Keep it up. Just hold on one second. This is the first time I'm first time hearing of that. Well, you're right about them not being typical detectives. So do we talk to them? Uh let me check the surroundings first. Ooh. Sticker again. Okay, Mockingbird. We need to talk to everyone anyway, so... The boss. Okay, let's start from left to right. By the way, ma'am, this might be sudden, but there's something I'd like to confirm with you. And that is... Do you happen to know anything about the seven mysteries of Honjo? Sorry, Chief, but that's hardly... With all due respect, Investigator, I think my question was addressed to the lady. If you insist. What do you say, ma'am? Can you tell us anything? Um... I don't know much. I've heard of the Seven Mysteries, but this talk of curses eludes me. Is that so? Well, I'm sorry for the intrusion. Come to think of it, I heard some things about this area last night. Something about a strange yet conspicuous man dressed in white loitering around. Wait a second. I assume they were talking about you, investigator. Well, I won't argue that I'm strange and conspicuously dressed in white. And as it turns out, I was out here last night to conduct my investigation. Did you run into anything strange or out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. I guess I did observe a few suspicious characters. You were asking about the curses just now. Why would a public servant be interested in, in the occult? Boss, Richter's a smart man. He can help us if you tell him what we know. I can't promise I'll be any of help to you, but I'm interested in hearing what you gotta say. Something is happening in Honjo, isn't there? It must be something big if they've got you head office guys on it. Well, I guess it's alright. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Thank you, boss. Listen closely to what we're about to say, Richter. So, by using curses to commit murders, these people collect soul drugs to perform the rite of resurrection. And these curse stones are somehow connected to the seven mysteries of Honjo? It's a tough story to swallow, but I don't see a reason to doubt you either. 
We figure the strange occurrences happening around here recently are connected to these curses. To get the situation under control, we have been searching for the curse bearers to confiscate their curse stones. Do you have any information that might help us? That's tough. I have never expected curses and other mumbo jumbo to play into this all. But if we're talking about shady characters, there was this middle aged fellow I saw in the south where Goosey Street. He had an average build. He was anxious like he was searching for prey. What do you think, boss? Well, considering the location, it could have been Hideki Araishi. We already got his curse stone. Impressive, you two are working quick. Did you see anything else? Not that I can remember. That's a shame. If you see any characters who look like they might be carrying a curse stone, it'd be a huge help. Perhaps you could lend a hand on our case too. There's a number of people we can't track and finding missing persons happens to be your specialty, you know? I hate to disappoint you, but I'm busy enough with this case. The fate of my clients is... What keeps me afloat, I have to prioritize requests by the order in which they came. I see, well... I can't say that's not fair. What do you need a private investigator for anyway? The cops should have plenty of bright folks to throw out the job. True, but this, is, this isn't this is an ordinary case we're dealing with here. Okay, we're done with boss. Aerio now. Aerio. What brings you here, Richter? You on a case? And that's right, I'm picking up the police slack. I trust you remember the kidnapping and murder case from last year? Oh, I remember now. You're that Harui Shigima from the kidnapping case. Did I miss something? I don't be an idiot. It was the case where Munisada's, Munisada Shigima's grandson was kidnapped. Which must have been your son, ma'am. Indeed, the story was suppressed by the news. In the end, it was considered a huge failure in the police department's part. Most of the investigation was conducted in secret. And unfortunately, the department is unwilling to reopen the case. Any investigation carried out, out afterwards turned up nothing at all, which is why I'm now on the job. So they never caught the culprit? That's rough. So your findings have brought you to this place then? That's right, an individual connected to this case used to live around here. Used to? That's right. As of last week, they're diseased. Uh, we'd hoped to talk to the family. No one was home when I checked last time, so we figured we'd try again. Interesting. By the way, that reminds me, Richter. Yes? You said the person who used to live here died last week. You wouldn't be referring to Michio Shiraishi, by chance. You knew? I thought so. It seems like we're here for the same reason then. Seriously, Michio was involved with the curses and magic? Strictly speaking, speaking the curse part isn't our, your or our concern. We're looking into Yoshimi's case. Yoshimi? Alright, Hajime Yoshimi's. That's right, he died on the job. I'm sure you've heard of it. I heard, it was the most unfortunate loss. So there's a connection between Hajime Yoshimi of the juvenile division and Michio. Well, hold on. Let's focus on Michio for a second. You think she had something to do with the kidnapping? Talk about unforeseen developments. Exchanging information should prove mutually beneficial. I'll tell you what I know, but in turn, I want the full scoop on your findings concerning Michio. Sure, to tell you the truth... What? You believe Michio's ghost is the one who killed Mr. Genuichi? So he wasn't just mumbling nonsense? I mean, we haven't fully confirmed anything yet. I mean, it's kind of confirmed on our side, right? Because for Yako last time, the game ended, right? With Michio's ghost killing uh, the other guy, right, Nijima? But the testimonies we've heard and the evidence we've found point in that direction. Testimony? You mean from those uh, psychic high schoolers? Didn't they also say there was a chance Michio hadn't killed herself? Wait, if that's all true, then... Did you figure something out? Look at the Haruo's eyes. Kankichiro Iwai. Hmm? Kankichiro Iwai, he'll be the next victim. We have to open the door to the Shiraishi house, we need to look inside. 
Hey, what's gotten into you? <laughs> Boss. I'm sure the landlord gives give us the key if we ask. Screw that. You know how long that could take? We can ask for permission later. Richter. Calm down. We can't just... Okay, take that, you shitty door. That's how you do it. Okay, so do we actually... So they actually broke in. Okay, get a hold of yourself. I see you're still the same as always. Come, quick, look at this. Oh, he's dead already. What's up with this room, boss? There's a dead body in here. Could that be Michio's dad? Nah, he's her stepdad at best. If that, it's got the, it's got to be the body of Kan, Kan, Kan Kichiro. You, <laughs> Kan Kichiro. There's no doubt about it. This month, man's a goner. He's gotten real messed up. Looks like it's been like this for a while. I'd say it happened last night. So only last night. Hey, did you find Junichi's body in the same state? Now that you mention it, it looked as though Kohei Junichi had died from a number of heavy blows. What are you suggesting, investigator? It was Michio Shiraishi. She's alive. She used the power of the curses to get back at the men who ruined her life. That's ridiculous. You're suggesting she actually revived? It's got to be that. And if she's alive, then... I can actually check. Oh. What happened? I know we've just arrived at an interesting plot point, but... Do you really think a dead girl is going around taking revenge from beyond the grave? Considering this, what if Michio Shiraishi did and never died? But seeing as you've come this far, I'm sure you already know the truth, don't you? And so I would have you answer me a question. Where in Honju was Michio Shiraishi at the hour of 8 o'clock this morning? Oh my god, dude, what the hell? I don't know. What was the time last time? Wasn't it in here? Maybe it was this one, right? Or was it this one? This one. I don't know. I'm not sure. I see. I see. So that's what you think. Well, let's take a moment to reconsider. What do you know and choose again, shall we? What? Hmm. Michio? Or maybe here. It was not here? Where did we meet the other guy from earlier? I don't know. Let's just check. Every, let's just like click everything, bro. I don't know. I mean, you're not going to fail anyway. What is the right answer here? So, so what? How do I know where she was? My school? We check the school. Nothing. See, everything is wrong. What the? F I see very well. Congratulations, you are correct. You got it wrong six times. It may have been easier to reach that conclusion as you consider the cause of death. You're asking me for where is the location of the dead girl? Are you serious? What is this then? What the f Wait, so you really think Michio Shiraishi is alive? Just think it through and it all becomes obvious. It tracks, but... Do you really think that girl could have managed all of this? First of all, Ario, go report this to HQ. Understood, I'll get it on right away. I'll start investigating this place. It sure isn't lacking in stuff that needs looking at. Hmm. Yeah, same person, dude. It's, uh, what do you call that? What, what's his name again? This is the killer. Yeah, the serial killer, right? Hold on, these photos are all Fumichika Nejima. Really, come to think of it, he was in the papers a lot back in the day. 
There's even more pasted up over there. Okay, give me the name again. I forgot the names. There are a lot of characters. It's so confusing. I'm sorry. Okay, Namigaki. Okay, Yutaro Namigaki. This is the one Amichio is angry at. Yeah, this guy. I keep... I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. I'm really sorry. Oh, there's even more pasted over there. These are all cutouts from newspapers and magazines about the Nijima murders. I don't get it. Why the weirdo shrine? Let's keep looking around. Um, floor? They're magic runes. They're used in Western black magic rituals. Most of the time, they're useless imitations, though I wouldn't get it too excited about it. Who knew the chief inspector was such an expert on the occult? I just chanced up upon the information. That girl with the spirit sense we mentioned, she's pretty informed on the subject. Someone was attempting to perform western black magic in this place. Pretty absurd if you ask me. Of course the person in question was dead serious about it all. Okay. Hey, what do we check next? Okay, we can check it again. It looked like these things spread around here have been in like this for a while now. This ritual or whatever was something he attempted up recently. Plenty of the neighbors mentioned having heard strange mantra-like noises coming from here during the night. You think EY was the one chanting? Hard to say, it could have been one of the Shira Ishis as well. If we look through these books in the back, we might learn whatever it is they were trying to do. Old books. There are old books scattered everywhere. I wonder what they're about. Many of them are in foreign languages. It'll be a pain to look through all of these. Let's save them for later and continue to look around. I mean, we could check it again. Uh, we're done with done sliding door. Newspaper cutouts. Hmm. Perhaps they did this as to not forget a grudge or something? It's crazy to think that Nejima might be involved in all of this too. Do you think he might have anything to do with the body here? Maybe. The man's already out on parole. He's a curse bearer with a curse stone. Now he announced that from sundown to day he'll be going on a killing spree. Oh dear. There's an emergency search underway as we speak, but no one's yet managed to get a hold of the bastard. So he hasn't changed his ways. That doesn't bode well. To tell the truth, the lady here isn't completely unconnected from the Nijima murders either. You don't say. That's right. We talked about it last night. 20 years ago, I found a hand in Sumida River that brought the incident to light. You don't say. You were the kid from back then? You were really brave. You did a great deed. Were you the detective I spoke with? I had no idea. So you two have met before. Fancy that. I've been worried about Fumichika and Ijima might bear resentment toward you, ma'am. Unfortunately, that asshole is quite the resentful type. Oh dear. I wonder who put the idea into his head and now he's got the one-sided read too. He's threatening to massacre the people of Honjo at sundown. Seriously? On top of that, he's been itching to get revenge on me as well. Of all things, the man's gone and threatened to kill my daughter. That's quite the threat. Certainly, you can't, you can't afford to stay put here. He wants to get us all antsy. When I finally get to arresting him, it'll be with a cool head. Not gonna give him the pleasure, huh? Well, if Iwai and Fumichika have anything to do with each other, then this room might hold a clue to Najima's location. Let's hope so. Okay, drawer. Hmm. I mean, in a normal case, only the police would be allowed to touch things, right? Right, Ariel is in here, so let me take a look at it. I mean, there's just clothes, not much variety. You can say they were big spenders. Well, I was hoping to find a kind of talisman here, but I guess we're not so lucky. Okay, we check this corpse. There's nothing around to confirm his identity, but by the looks of him, I'd say he's Kankichiro Iwai. You've seen him before? 
I heard he had a criminal record, so I assume he wouldn't ha have held a respectable occupation. Is this what a curse does to a person? Ma'am, I'd be better not to look so closely. It's amazing. Amazing? <laughs> Cruel is what it is. Okay, we're done with the corpse floor. Old books again. Uh, would you let me look through it if I wore gloves? Well, it's not like I'm any help with foreign languages. Go ahead. Thank you. This seems to be a book on Western black magic. The same runes are written here alongside detailed descriptions of the procedures. I suppose you call this grimoires? It's all a bunch of nonsense if you ask me though. You think this EY guy was studying them? Perhaps to perform some kind of ritual? There are a bunch of handwritten notes beside the grimoires, whoever it was. They were serious about this. EY doesn't look the type to be into this stuff, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But why would he be studying black magic? According to the materials, this here rune is for the restoration of youth. Perhaps he was trying to become young again? This over here seems to be black magic related to resurrection. Each one of these spells requires a human sacrifice. Talk about dangerous. Resurrection like right? Like the right? I guess no matter what part of the world, people will turn to the occult for similar reasons. Okay, one more. Hmm. What is it? This looks like a journal. It's probably Ewise. A journal? Hmm. His writing is surprisingly Toro. It's almost as he was writing a report for someone. Oh wow, now this is something. What is it? What did he write? This is quite the find. Let me give you a summary. So this Kankichiro Iwai fellow, he'd been searching for a spell to restore your youth for years, okay? So he was into black magic from the start. He believed if he could learn to successfully perform a spell, he could then use it to earn a fortune. To tell you the truth, it seems he was already getting funded after he acquired his grimoire. You don't say, it is starting to sound kind of familiar. But first, let's find out how he got his hands on this grimoire. It seems that Nejima told him where he could obtain the book when they were both in prison. Oh. What? That's nearly too much of a coincidence. Likely not a coincidence, it seems like EY took an interest in the Nijima murders after it made news. He admired him rather passionately. You might even say he worshipped the man. Worship? Nijima of all people? This was the time when the students were itching to rebel. Anyone who did something to shake the world was bound to gather admirers. True. Like, did serial killers have admirers as well? Think about that. Like, what the hell? EY had been collecting these photos ever since that time. And since he just how happened to land in prison at the same time as Nijima, he made sure to get in contact. This is a lot. I mean, even having it all laid out like this? The thought of Nijima being involved with his grimoires is staggering. I don't think we ever had anything pointing to that. What's the connection? To be honest, it's sh a shock to me too. For years, we've been scratching our heads over the motives behind the Nijima murders. Yep, it's been a mystery to us all from the very start. Whoa now, wait, just one minute, do you think... No way, are you saying... That's right, this murders might have been for a ritual, he was attempting to perform black magic. The instructions written down for the sacrificial offering match up exactly with the acts carried out by Nijima. You gotta be kidding me. So, that sadistic crap he was doing was all for black magic? That's what the evidence suggests. However, Najima tried to do some type of resurrection ritual, but EY had a different motives. Chief Inspector, you might think this is all the stuff of fantasy, but... That doesn't refute that Najima and EY were both acting in earnest. This is batshit insane. You're telling me that Nutjob did this all, all for some hokey pokey resurrection? Shit resurrection. That means there must have been someone that Jima wanted to bring back to life. Who then? The one he killed maybe? I don't know. That's it. It has to be it. It all makes sense now. What? What is it? So about the Nijima murders. There's some information that's been kept from the public. Go on. When we broke into this house and arrested him... 
We also found a baby. A baby? It was a girl. It looked to be about six months old, but she was covered in filth. She looked so weak and sickly. We called the medics right away. If we're if we were a second later, I'm sure the girl would have died. So was the Jima the father? He told us he'd found her under a bridge. What? He found her. She was abandoned. I heard of the parents threatening to leave their child under a bridge as a threat, but I think it really happens. I suppose there are those cases with the dead newborns found in stuff in coin lockers. So it's not without precedent. Yeah, coin lockers. Oh my god, they're putting babies there. Whatever the case, we never found out the truth. So we're just a kid now. But there's one rumor from back then that I could never get out of my mind. And it's starting to sound more likely now. Well, I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard of it. Many believe Najima's guilty of more crimes than what got him convicted. Back then, a lot of girls went missing. Yeah, I remember all of that. Among the high school girls that might have been murdered, or maybe I should say sacrificed, was a girl who was pregnant. Goodness. That's horrific. He killed her. And dismembered her body. And we thought maybe the baby we found is what he pulled out from the inside of her. Don't misunderstand me, this is all speculation on top of more speculation here. But I for one never believed that a man would just take in a baby he found under a bridge. I'm feeling sick. Stay strong. I know this is hard to hear. Like I said, I don't think or didn't take that to be with the full truth. We were running on speculation back then. Now that this whole resurrection magic has come to play, we should consider the possibility it was his child. And that maybe he was trying to revive whoever the mother might have been. It's just a theory, but my life would be a tad easier if it were true. That's an interesting thought. If there's anyone Ijima would want to resurrect, a deceased wife is as good as any. The fact that he obtained the curse stone suggests he has an interest in the right of resurrection. Damn, you're right. And here I was thinking that he was only after the curses, power to massacre. Chief Inspector? Yeah. What happened to the child? Without a birth registration on file, best we could do was find the girl, some suitable foster parents. It was decided to keep the circumstances secret for the sake of the child's future. Well, I'm glad she was taken care of. Uh, what do we check? Newspaper cutouts? Okay, more. We know EY had managed to obtain the grimoire thanks to the advice from his idol, Najima, while in prison. After conducting research and gathering more information, he determined he had a chance to get rich quick. Right, he thought he could make some money if he could successfully use rejuvenation magic. Correct, turns out someone, uh, someone him, turns out someone him gave him, someone gave him the idea. And get this. It was the one and only queen of Cheruman. Sorry, sorry. Of Hihaku Soaps herself, Natsue Yamamori. Wait, the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps. So that's where this leads. Here, let me read what he wrote. The queen of Hihaku has a strange fear of growing old. Her fear of death is even worse, and if she does die, she wishes to be revived, and she will spend whatever it takes to preserve her beauty. Magic, rituals, and rites, she'll use whatever means necessary. Her tenacity is unbelievable. She was apparently investing money into any research on resurrection, the restoration of youth, and the like. So she would even throw her own money at the occult. The places greed will take you. Yes. True. Well then, that brings us to Hideki Araishi. She presumably funded his research into the Rite of Resurrection as well. That's what it all points towards. I wouldn't be surprised if the Witch of Ihaku pounced at the rumors of the Rite of Resurrection. It's starting to sound likely. It might also be why she's spreading the rumor about having godly powers. as a convenient cover for if she becomes young again. Godly powers? What's that all about? Ah, you can ignore that. 
Either way, I think EY took the payment he was getting for his research to seduce a family into taking him to keep a low profile. The Shiraishi family, Michio, and her mother, Toshiko, were just on his unlucky marks. And this is where you get involved. Are you feeling steady, ma'am? Huh? This has something to do with me? Uh, what is this? Are you saying that... No, you can't mean you realize it then. Perhaps... Kan Kichiro Iwa is... Uh, living sacrifice? Uh, was a child. That's why her kid got kidnapped? That's exactly it. Iwai moved in with the Shiraishis to practice his magic. He needed a sacrifice to perform his youth restoration spell, but... That meant extracting the life from someone young. Oh no, of course. That, that awful man. So it was Iwai, this man. Iwai worshipped Najima, so he must have also despised Najima's detractors. Not to mention he was captured and sent to jail once before, surely he had a bone to pick with the police. So when he realized he had a chance to both avenge the Jima and embarrass the police and acquire a living sacrifice at the same time. He got it. Iwai kidnapped Harui Shigima's son and managed to score three birds with one stone. Jesus Christ. You're telling me then that the horrid man, he never had the intention of returning my child? I thought there might have been a reason why the kidnapper seemed to be mocking the police. He never wanted money, his aim was to humiliate the forest, it all makes sense. He must have used Michio to lower your boy's defenses, and then kidnapped him on his way back home. He took Shuichi? I wish there was voice acting for this dude, like actual right? It would be much better. Please calm down, I do understand, but you must remember to breathe. You don't understand. You absolutely have no idea what I'm going through. This isn't a joke. I wouldn't expect the police to understand. You'll never understand. Living sacrifices. What a stupid, stupid idea from a stupid little man. Okay, ma'am. Let's take a moment to breathe. Why don't we uh, go get some fresh air? I can't believe this. This is... I mean, this is too much. I think it's best we take our leave for now. But before we go, there's one more important piece of uh, noted in his journal. Uh, Iwai got in contact with Nijima last year after Nijima was released on parole. He provided him with accommodation and financial support. Is that so? He managed to find a hideout for Nijima to stay in. If anything, rather, if anything, rather than use his money to support the Shiraishi, it seems most went to Nijima instead. If Najima's lurking around anywhere at the moment, it's probably in that hideout. Did you write where it is? Unfortunately, no. Not that I can tell. But it seems Michio knew where it was. She never met Najima in person, but she was made to go in and clean up among other things. What good is that information? That girl is already dead. You know, she's alive. That's right, Mich Michio Shiraishi is alive. If you can find her and get her to talk, you can uh, get her to spill the beans on his idol too. Investigator, I'm asking you. I should be going, the lady's not well. Wait, I don't, I'm getting confused here. Okay. Where's Michio? Okay, let me check again. Okay, Michio. Okay, there's nothing here for now. Are you feeling better now that we've gotten some fresh air, ma'am? I'm fine. Suddenly finding out who the kidnapper was really made me lose my wits. We managed to solve the kidnapping case by pure luck here. You're right, but Richter? I... I feel grateful toward Michio. 
Because she killed the kidnapper? There's that too. But it's for something else. If Michio is the one killing all these people... Then she must have acquired quite a sizable amount by now. Oh. Soul dregs, I mean. Hey, Richter. Whether the kidnapper's dead or alive... It doesn't mean a thing. Revenge won't bring my boy back. And if Nijima is planning to cause a massacre to collect soul dregs, then all the better. I won't give up on resurrection. She's desperate, so I'm counting on you. Oh, what, we got another one? Too much to handle. Uh, okay, let's continue it then. 1 p.m. I didn't literally really look at the times even last time, so I forgot. Reception room. In further news, today the body of an adult male was discovered in the residence of Toshiko Shiraishi around noon. Of one Toshiko, Toshiko. The man identified as Kan Kichiro Iwai is said to have been in a relationship with Toshiko. He was unemployed at the time of death. While further investigation is still underway, it's suspected that his death is connected to the recent serial killings in Honjo. Evidence on the scene may also Im implicate Mr. Iwai in the unsolved child abduction and murder case from last year. Well, ma'am? It seems like we managed to settle one part of the kidnapping case for now. Let's begin discussing our next steps. Right. Okay, anything here? Okay, no, I'm waiting for the check mark, but yeah, it doesn't show. It doesn't finish, so maybe later. He's always going at his own pace. Okay, he's rather fascinating. About the kidnapping. Well, judging by the official announcement, it seems that what EY wrote is likely true. With both kidnappers and his young accomplice dead, the police should be able to handle the rest. Now that is over. I can't help but think how pitiful it all is. But we never would have known a thing had we not found his journal. Carelessness is what usually leads to crimes like this being exposed. It was pretty much the same with Najima murders. But stumbling across the answer by pure chance really makes you think. It makes my skin crawl to think of how many cases like this are left undiscovered. Me too. It's certainly disturbing. Well, with a kidnapping case all wrapped up, we can focus our efforts on obtaining the right of resurrection, yes? Indeed, I'm counting on you. Alright, let's reassess the curse situation. Right. I must admit, I never expected the police to be on, so, to so on top of things. The Chief Inspector Tetsuo Chutsumi provided us a good wealth of information. I'm surprised he knew so much about the curse bearers. Do you think they noticed I'm one of them? I'm pretty sure Ariel didn't. The chief inspector on the other hand, well, we'll have to be careful around him. But if he had suspected anything, I'm sure he would have detained us. We should stay vigilant moving forward. Agreed. Even if you steal a curse stone, you may not be successful to, to perform the rite unless you're a curse bearer yourself. Would you be okay with hanging onto the stone from now on? Of course. Just don't use it though, okay? All right. If what we've heard is true, there are just three curses or three bears left to be discovered. Yeah, the Whispering Canal. What happened to the Whispering Canal, by the way? Where is it now? The beckoning light in the Taiko of Chogaru. 
It may benefit us to visit the places connected to these stories a few times. I see. I'm still highly suspicious of the people at Hihaku Soaps. They could be the ones pulling the strings. That Takumi Yumioka fella is probably aware of the curse bearers we're searching for. Tracking his movements may be or may prove to be useful. You want to follow him? If we were to follow anyone, he'd be my first choice, but... Damn, at times like this really have me wishing I had more personnel. I imagine it's tough working on your own. It's the plight of running a small business. I'm always running on the hunt for a skilled assistant. And then there's the Jima, who appears to be a curse bearer too, the one-sided reed I think it was. If we want to look for someone that's likely to gather a whole lot of soul dregs, well, look no further. He did say he would unleash his curse on a large number of people at nightfall. If he gets a chance, if the chief inspector manages to track down Michio, then well, there's a chance he'll manage to apprehend Nijima before he gets up to no good. But why did you tell the chief inspector about the safe house if he hadn't had that lead? It was written in EY's memoirs. It was just a matter of time till he found out. Besides, we're talking about a massacre here. I can't just turn a blind eye. How different is it from any other curse bearer collecting soul dregs? Well, if we're talking about uh, Nijima, it could be a lot more dangerous. We'll just keep a close eye on Nijima and the cops. What about the girl from before, Ayami Tono? Do you think she could be a curse bearer? Well, there's a chance she could have gone and stolen someone else's curse stone by now. That's possible too, but... Hmm? We haven't been to Midoricho Park yet, the place connected to the Taiko of Chugaru. Alright, that's close to where she lives. What if she was a curse bearer this entire time? She could have lied. It's possible. It would make her a brilliant actress to boot. The idea's got me itching to investigate her again. That place is rather suspicious. If only we could run into someone there. Richter? Yes. Um. Uh, that's right. Would you mind if we make a stop on our way? We can make it quick. I apologize for the diversion, but I'd like to visit a candy store, okay? Um, I suppose I don't mind. Can move now? Okay, move to the candy shop. You will be given the option to finish investigations, which will allow you to immediately end this part. Oh. No, no, no. A uh, candy shop. This one, right? Finish already, you can do that. Oh, this one. You made me jump. It's a mockingbird number 14, a falcon man. Yeah, he knows already. Even just one click. Richter? Senoya, the children seem pretty fond of this place. It looks comparatively new. Um, anything else? Think. He's up in front with the kids to so participate in the raffle. It's weird seeing an adult his age enjoying himself so much at a candy store. Oh, it seems he didn't win anything. He's pounding so hard, even the kids are laughing at him. Okay. Look at his smile. He must have won something. How nice. Mockingbird number 10. Okay. <laughs> we got Mockingbird. One more? Will we win more Mockingbirds? Okay. Number 10 again. <laughs> Uh, let's talk to him. Should we go for a Monja Monjayaki or something? 
That's sweet of you, but I'm not hungry right now. That's too bad. I haven't had a great luck with this Mockingbird raffle. Would you mind if I tried a few more times? Apparently, most of these are just replicas of the real deal. But even so, they all were well worth the price. Hmm. So, maybe we can get one more? So, we got 10. What number is the other one? What 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 was this? 14? 14, we got 10, maybe another one. Okay, let's... Try a couple more times. Okay, he's not winning anything. Okay, give me uh, five times. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, it doesn't win anything. Five. Okay, he doesn't win. Maybe it's uh, you don't really win anything anymore. So let's just move, I guess. Yes, move. Uh, move to Midoricho Park. Yes. Maybe we can find the girl again. What's her name again? Ayane? Ayami? Oh, there she is. Woman. Hey, that lady over there. Ayame Tono. She seems to be trying to hide. So are we gonna call her out or hmm, call out? All right, all right. I'll be right back. He's gone. I suppose you really wanted to talk with her. Oh, there he is. He's sneaking up. Does he mean to jump out and surprise her from behind? Does he mean to intimidate her? She noticed. I guess his purpose was to talk to her, with, talk with her after all. I wonder what they're talking about. She doesn't look like she's planning to run. Hmm. They're coming here. Ah, here she is. What do you think? Sm smooth work by the master. Hmm? Yes, very smooth. Hello. Thank you so much for yesterday. I know this is sudden, but I'm actually being pursued right now. By who? I think it's the police. Would you be willing to provide me shelter? From the police? I figured we could hear her out and see what kind of mess she's gotten herself in. Uh, don't make it sound like I'm some kind of criminal, please. Why are you being chased? The police have my apartment staked out, so I haven't been able to return home. I heard them say something about wanting to protect me, but something didn't feel right, and I got scared. Do you have any idea what they're af why they're after you? Well, I've been searching for the curses, so we shouldn't trouble ourselves with hiding you if they're after you for your own for a good reason. How cruel! But this handsome investigator wouldn't turn me in so easily, would you? It's unfortunate, but we got a reason not to get involved with the police ourselves. What a shady reasoning! But if we got some murky secret to hide, we might as well cooperate with each other, no? Why? Okay, why? But if you got some murky secrets... Okay, about the right of resurrection. Anyway, how is your, how are your plans to resurrect Hokusai going? Uh, fortunately, that's been going quite well. Quite well? Why, did you kill someone? Does it mean you found someone to steal a curse stone from? Not exactly, but I found out a kind of last resort, which is why I can't let the police get me. What do you mean last resort? You really asking me that? It doesn't concern you at all. Why should I tell you? Um. What if we make a deal in exchange for keeping you hidden for from the police? You'll tell us about the last resort. Is that what you got? What got you interested? Oh, I've got it. You mean to steal it from me or for yourself? Not at all, I'm just curious. That excuse will just not do. I don't need you to. I'll find a way to stay safe on my own. That was close. That was a close one. I should have known the, the only one you can count on in this world is yourself. We can let her get away. Let's go after her. Stop. Get any closer and I'll scream. Please wait. We'll help you out with no conditions. Well, you change your mind quick. That just makes you all the more suspicious. 
I tried my best, but I couldn't convince her to stay. Could it be that you don't know how to handle a girl like that? Hmm. Since she's looking for a safe haven, uh, would you mind me sharing your address with her just in case? Well, it doesn't really bother me, but you do recognize there are police officers in my close family. At least it allows us to keep in contact no matter how small. Are we done with this area? Hmm. You know, I have one as well. A last resort. You do? Even if you don't steal another curse stone, I already have a, my own. If it becomes necessary, I'm prepared to use it. So you think it might be possible that she has one of her own too? But that she despised the idea of using it to kill others, so instead she means to kill to steal a curse stone with soul dregs already in it. It doesn't contradict anything we know. She lives nearby, which means she might have the Taiko of Chugaru curse stone. We still don't know much about that one. Richter? The last resort. I am spoke of. It could be our chance. We can use her. I hear you loud and clear. Uh, okay, I think we're done in this place. Okay, where do we go now? Honoji? Candy shop? Shigima? I guess Honoji. We went here. We were here. So, this or this? Honoji bridge first. Surroundings. Factory. What is this? It doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I wonder if it's one of the factories that got shut down when Nintendo regulations. Richter? What do you think that is? Oh. Um, I don't see anything. Really, you don't see that? The thing that looks like a phantom ball of flame floating in the air. A ball of flame. It must be the curse echo. Maybe only the curse bears are capable of seeing it. But could such a thing happen in broad daylight? Oh, it's gone now. It's gone. I wonder if, if that was the beckoning light's curse echo. That phantom flame you saw might have been a manifestation of the lantern. In that case, does it mean a curse bear is nearby? Curse bear might be lurking in the vicinity. I'm going to check the surroundings. Okay. Nothing. I didn't find anyone who looked the part. I see. I don't doubt something happened around here, but something might have changed in the area. Keep your eyes peeled. Changed? Hmm. Richter? What you saw earlier must have been the beckoning light. I mean, yeah, we can't do anything anymore, right? Okay, let's just move, I guess. Last area? Kinshinbori Park. The area was closed off to the public this morning after his body was found, but the police quickly managed to complete their investigation and reopen the park as if nothing ever happened. The people in the area are shockingly calm considering what happened here. You'd think they put it off knowing there was a dead body here just this morning? From what I heard, it happened right about where you're standing now. Ew. <laughs> Surroundings... 
telephone booth. Um, kid, Richter playground. Did you catch your eye? Not the time. What do you mean? Okay. You can go take a look if you're that interested. Okay, what what does he want though? Oh no, he found a mockingbird again. <laughs> okay. So excited about the mockingbirds. Alright, let's talk to him then. This place is associated with the Whispering Canal. The canal must be connected to the man who was found drowned in the park. Agreed. Wasn't the victim a Hihaku Soap's employee? That's right, his name was Shogo Ikokie. Concerning his occupation, he probably came in here in search of a curse stone. Uh, people in the company know about the ride, it only makes sense they'd be looking for curse stones. You'd think the chairwoman and Takumi would send their regular employees out to hunt for the stones. If that's the case, perhaps that Shogo died trying to take a stone from someone else? Either that or... He was killed precisely because he was a curse bearer with a curse stone. I suppose so, but... Concerning the location, wouldn't that mean the curse used was the Whispering Canal? A hey, good point, that would mean Shogo Ukiya was in the wilder of the Whispering Canal curse himself. Could he have had the beckoning light or even the Taiko Chugaru? I was here last night and there weren't any dead bodies then. It's highly possible he was brought here from somewhere else. If that's the case, the wielder of the Whispering Canal has already collected his stone. Uh, ma'am, excuse me, but there's one more thing I'd like to try. Be my guest. Shogo Kie is the name of the person who died here. It's hard to believe he was here by chance, only to end up murdered with a curse. Given his ties to Hihaku, we can assume he was aware of the situation and somehow involved this, with his curses. Okay, we're done with this one. We're done with this. Well, so we're done with everything, right? I guess we'll just finish the investigation. I mean, we check all the areas. Oh, we unlock something. Darkness? Oh, we... What is this? Oh, no. This is Haraway, right? No, where's Haraway? Okay, Haraway is up here. Too much to handle? You can go back here? Oh, we unlock this again. Like a dead end for now. So, what do we do next time? This one standing by? What is this? Darkness. Okay. Okay, so we'll end our episode there. So I think uh, Yoko, yeah, Yoko from the beginning is gonna have a part here, but yeah, she hasn't shown herself yet. Again, I mean, she showed herself in the beginning, but she left, right? Uh, Shogo forced her into the cab because like something might happen, right? So she's number one suspect for me. That has the Whispering Canal. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Because I think she's a, she's a nice character. <laughs> Hopefully we see her back and she's involving the story. Because Shogo I thought it was going to be like a big character in this game. But in, it, in the end. He was just like the prologue character. He died. And that was the end of his story. I guess. Eh, maybe. Who knows. Maybe they'll show up again. So anyways, uh, we'll just continue this in the next episode. We'll go to Chuchumi again. We'll, we'll continue the story part. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.